What's cracking, yo? Welcome back to Boo TV. Appreciate you for stopping in. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified, and let's get into the topic for today. My worst nightmares have come true. My worst nightmares have come true. This is exactly what I did not want. Victor Wimbenyama is now going to the San Antonio Spurs. Now that the Spurs have secured the number one draft pick. I put out a video not too long ago about why. Actually, I put out a video a couple months ago about why I did not want the Spurs to get the number one draft pick. Why I did not want to see Victor Wimbanyama in a Spurs jersey. Why? Because Greg Popovich is going to subdue Victor Wimbanyama's skills, make him buy into this super team concept, which I understand, but we want to see this kid get out on the floor and just unleash what he is able to do. Unleash his skills. Let this kid just go out there and flourish. Greg Popovich has been known for all damn near all of his star players to subdue their full abilities, not to fully unleash them. It's one thing to be humble, but Greg Popovich be making people be super stupid humble. You know, a lot of people praise Greg Popovich, and rightfully so. He is one of the greatest coaches of all time. He is. But there's also been a lot of star players that have been extremely disgruntled with Greg Popovich, and people don't like to talk about it because he subdues and holds them back from their full potential. Remember when DeMar DeRozan went over to the San Antonio Spurs? And he wasn't quite looking like DeMar DeRozan all the time, and people started saying he was washed up. And he became a complete afterthought. And the minute he got over to the Chicago Bulls, it's like, oh my God, DeMar DeRozan is now an MVP candidate. Where did he come from? He has he has reemerged. The resurgence of DeMar DeRozan? No. He wasn't happy over there in San Antonio because he wasn't allowed to be who he fully was. And there have been other players in the history of the Spurs that have shared the same sentiment. Man, he... he Popovich will turn you into a zombie. He will brainwash you. And it's worked out for some players. You saw Tim Duncan. He's had a strong core around him his entire career. But look at Tim Duncan could have been more individually. Even when you look at Tim Duncan's numbers in his prime, that wasn't even Tim Duncan really asserting himself all the time. And it worked out. He had a strong nucleus around him and, you know, a strong supporting cast around him all times. But not all players have the luxury of having that, even in a San Antonio Spurs uniform. I mean, people act like Popovich is winning a championship every year. People act like Popovich, there hasn't been years when Popovich didn't make the playoffs. People act like Popovich and the Spurs haven't had first and second round losses several times. But I'm just saying. Now, don't get me wrong. Pop is arguably the greatest coach of all time. Not, not for me, but he's one of the greatest coaches of all time, in my opinion. But to sit here and act like when it comes to star players, he doesn't always mismanage them, that would be false because he does mismanage them sometimes and holds them back. But anyway, that's why I don't want Victor Wembanyama to go to the Spurs. I want to just, I want to just throw the kid out there, let him terrorize the league, let him grow, let him learn, throw him to the, throw him in the fire. But that, he's going to be subdued. He's going to be super subdued. We'll, we'll see his potential in spurts. But he won't just be given the reins to go and try to dominate and put the team on his shoulder. And let me show you I can what I can do and how I can take you to the promised land. Not saying be a ball hog. Not saying be completely ball dominant but it, it'll it'll be the complete opposite side of the spectrum in the Spurs offense with Greg Popovich you know you got one side of the spectrum completely ball dominant 
ball monopolizer, does everything. LeBron James, Luka Doncic, Russell Westbrook, James Harden. And then you got the complete opposite side of the spectrum, Greg Popovich style. Man, we're going to hold you back, man. You're going to average probably 10 less points than what you could, probably a handful less assists than what you could. You'll probably cl crash the boards and get the rebounds. You know, hustle stuff is good, but as far as putting the ball in your hands and making you do the work, you're going to lose some on that side. But I want, I want, I want Victor Wembanyama to be somewhere in the middle. Somewhere in the middle, maybe a little bit more towards being more of you. Just a little bit more, but in the middle would be a nice spot. But man, Pavlovich be bringing people all the way to the left sometimes, man. That's my opinion. I, it's an unpopular opinion. I know I'll probably get a lot of dislikes for this video, and people disagree with me, but. Man, Popovich be turning his players into zombies, bro. They, they, they zombies. <laughs> it's like a zombie army, man. Brainwashing some of these players, man. I ain't with it. And I get the whole team concept and all that stuff. I get it, I get it, I get it. But, you know. I, 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 did, I didn't want to see Victor Wembanyama in the Spurs uniform, man. I really hope I'm wrong. I really hope he can get out there and just flourish and take the league by storm and see what he can do. But as far as like individual accolades and numbers, you can still get your numbers and be successful in the realm of the team. But I just think now he's going to be he's going to be super subdued, man, and we're not going to see his full potential leak out on a consistent basis. It's my opinion. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, hit the dislike button, tell me, tell me about how much I'm wrong, how I'm being selfish, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, probably am, because this is what I want to see. I would have loved to see him on the Charlotte Hornets or the any anybody but the Spurs, really. Anybody with the Spurs, because I know they'll unleash this kid. They'll let him go out and do his thing. Give him the reins, like, you, like when LeBron James came in. He just came into a Cavaliers team. Show us what you can do, LeBron. And within two to three years, LeBron James is one of the best players in the league. Within three years, LeBron James is one of the better players in the league. The Cavaliers were making the playoffs, and they had some okay runs. And even in LeBron, even in there were years where they fell short of expectations, and they were favorited to be in the championship game or win the championship. They just fell short. I wanted a similar career path for Victor Wimbenyama. Now he's going to be subdued to the to the Spurs philosophies. Like, comment, subscribe, hit the bell, stay notified. I catch you on the next one. We out, baby.